Hello, my friends. Did you know that 5% fi of Earth's land is untouched? Yet 95% of the ocean is unexplored. Think about that for a moment. It is an amazing statistic. When it comes to the ocean, there is so much to be amazed by. And this makes my job of teaching people about the ocean so rewarding. Sadly, there is also now so much to be horrified by. This unexplored space has always been my passion. I grew up in a fisherman's village right by a rocky pocket beach called Capolungo, where, as a teenager, I took up an ocean sport <laughs> called surf lifesaving. This is a competitive discipline, actually, <laughs> revolving around saving lives at sea. Its most exciting competition is called Ocean Man, and they've been Europe Cup Ocean Man. This led me to lots of travels and a chance to see how people interact with the ocean in different cultures. Thanks to sport, my approach to the sea changed from a superficial enjoyment to a much deeper appreciation. And now, I teach people about the relationship between mankind and the ocean. I teach them how important this body of water is in providing us with oxygen and the impact that chemicals have on marine life. I teach them how global warming is changing the great conveyor belt. Around the world, underwater current, also known as the largest highway of the ocean. This highway moves more than 100 times more water than the Amazon River. And it is anomalies in this current that are causing, or better to say, contributing to the potentially drastic temperature rises worldwide. This subject area is called ocean literacy. It is a powerful field of study for our generation and the next. I want to increase ocean literacy specifically among water sports professionals with a mission to empower them to harvest vital information for scientists. Statistics suggest that 35 million people surf globally and more than 6 million people scuba dive. And we would be crazy not to make use of this incredible resource. And so far, I haven't met one single sport person who doesn't want to use their time at sea to help find solutions for our ocean crisis. And why wouldn't they? It is so easy for them to gather information while they train. My project is called GOT2, because you got to know, you got to act for nature, and you got to do sport. Gotto is also an Italian word for a particular shape of drinking glass, and is meant to suggest that you can act for nature, as an Italian expression says, as easily as drinking a glass of water. The project, now in its launch phase, targets professional swimmers, surfers, kayakers, sailors, and divers. <laughs> First, we increase their knowledge about the ocean environment through online videos about the marine environment, for instance, about global warming, uh, extreme weather phenomenon. Then, we provide them the citizen science tools they can use to gather information. One is a micromanta, a net specifically designed to trap microplastics, which can be dragged behind a kayak or a paddleboard. Another 
is an easy to use portable meteorological station through which they can report water or air temperature or humidity. Another is an app through which they can again report interesting phenomena such as the presence of alien species. All the information is then submitted to the European Marine and Observation Data Network, a data bank through which researchers and universities can draw the information that they need. Our dream is that no sportsman would consider going out to train without bringing back and submitting useful information. Every sport person, every sporting event will see themselves as vital contributors to help find solutions for our ocean crisis. And my request is to educate yourself. Our everyday choices have consequences on our ocean health. Become ocean literates in your own way so that you know how to treat the ocean with respect.